Welcome back. This is our second tutorial about working with arrays, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn about rectangular arrays. Let's begin by creating some geometry. I'll bring in a rectangle and specify the first corner, 5, tab 5, and press Enter. Now the second corner, 25, tab 20, and press Enter. Let's create a circle, and I'll place it in this corner. Select the Circle tool, snap to this corner. The radius will make one unit. Enter, and let's activate the Rectangular Array tool. First step is to select objects to include in the array. Right-click to indicate that you've finished the selection. Now we specify the number of rows and columns. as well as the spacing. If I use this grip here, I can specify the number of rows and columns at the same time. We can also enter the number of rows and columns in the ribbon manually, just like we did in our previous tutorial. Just tab to get from field to field. We can specify the spacing up here too. Tab to register. We can enter the number of levels. And we can specify if the array is associative or non-associative, and so on. Let's close the array. To edit the array, just select it in the drawing area. Let's, for example, edit the source. Select an item in the array. We're prompted to accept this edit of the source object. We click OK. And now I've made some changes. Let's save the changes and exit. This concludes our second tutorial about working with arrays, the rectangular array.